Independent training providers are a vital element of the skills provision in the country and they deliver over two thirds of all apprenticeships, far more than in fact FE, yet are excluded from funding and support measures. Unless something changes and funding increases, we'll soon see a reduction in apprenticeship training provision at a time when it is needed the most to deliver critical national infrastructure the house building programme and achieve net zero. Over the last three years, the number of apprentices being trained across the electrical training sector has gone up by about a thousand a year. That shows about a 15% increase. So on the surface, it's in a good position. However, that's set against a backdrop of an overall need of 10,000 new electricians every year, and our total delivery is about 7,500. So there is a long way to go. We train about 2,000 new starts each year, and we have about 8,000 apprentices under training at any one time. We get about 9,000 credible applicants each year to do an electrical apprenticeship. The actual key barrier is the capacity of the training pipeline itself. We need to take a number of measures. The first thing we need to do is look at the funding. In effect, funding for the electrical apprenticeship hasn't changed since 2019, yet all the associated costs have risen dramatically. The second area we need to address is a policy around skills to ensure that we've got a sufficiently developed pipeline of skills ahead of major infrastructure projects. With a four-year training timeline, that of course makes it really difficult. And finally, we don't have sufficient people in the training system to do it. It, it is very hard for training providers to attract qualified electricians to deliver training rather than to work on site, where of course the chances are they can earn a much better wage So we need all of those employers who want skilled people to take on an apprentice. We need those employers to support where they can uh, the training provision by helping to find potential candidates who can come and do that training. We need the government to come together and fund and we need parents and teachers to recognise the value that an apprenticeship can bring. And overall, we can do an awful lot more to make the system more visible and attractive to young people for what will be, set them up as a job for life.